Hey everyone, all right, so in this video, let's talk about the brand new parking structure that was announced yesterday for the Disneyland Resort. So the first plan Disney had was, you know what, we're gonna build a parking structure behind the Carousel Inn on Harbor Boulevard, bulldoze the, you know, the, uh, the Carousel Inn, and use that area as a pedestrian bridge that would connect this new parking structure with the um, Central Plaza or the Disneyland Resort. Okay, well that plan was met with a lot of political backlash. Uh, the local businesses had a huge problem with it because they felt that the pedestrian bridge that would go over Harbor Boulevard would really suck dry all their uh, foot traffic. It was in, you know, the city of Anaheim got involved. It was a whole big mess. So Disney ultimately decided, you know what? We're not gonna deal with it anymore. We're just gonna build a parking structure on the west side over by the Mickey and Friends parking structure. So that's where this new structure is gonna be. Right now where the current Pinocchio parking lot um, sits, that's where the new parking structure will be. It'll be six stories. It'll be about 6,500 parking spots. So it's a pretty substantial uh, structure. I think, in my opinion, this was a genius, a brilliant move on Disney's part because I think the businesses on Harbor kind of overplayed their hand. They thought they kind of had Disney in a corner and we, they can kind of bully Disney into um, concessions. Okay, and uh, Disney basically took away all their leverage by building it on the other side. It was honestly a brilliant move on Disney's part. Now, in the long run, I think this is actually going to hurt these harbor businesses more than that pedestrian bridge. And the reason I think that is because Disney is slowly uh, chipping away at the relevancy of that harbor entrance. You know, they started doing that with the Mickey and Friends parking structure. Now with this new structure, it's even more so, okay? The vast majority of guests are gonna enter on the west side of the resort. Unless you're parking in the Toy Story lot or staying at an off-site hotel on Harbor, you're not even gonna know those businesses even exist. So Disney is really slowly but surely diverting all all the traffic to the west side. Now, does that mean they're gonna close the Harbor Boulevard entrance? No, I don't think we've come to that point yet, just because, like I said, we still have the Toy Story lot, uh, we still have the transportation hub, which sits right there. So I think for right now, they need that entrance. But uh, is it gonna hurt business on that side? Absolutely, absolutely. The, the vast majority of people are gonna be coming in from that west side. And I think convenience wise, if you're going to the resort, I think that having it on that side is more convenient. I think it's a little bit more, at least visually from what I can see, I might be wrong, but visually it looks like it's more of a walk from the Harbor Boulevard side. If you were to go over the street and into, into the uh, Central Plaza, that looks like a longer walk in my opinion than the current walk or the soon to be walk, which is from the Pinocchio lot over to the resort. So I could be wrong on that, I'm eyeballing it, but it seems like it's a little, it's a little bit closer. It's a little bit more inclusive into the resort. It's not, it's not so much off site like the Harbor uh, Gateway project was. But yeah, overall, uh, Disney, I think won this fight. I really do. I think the Harbor, Harbor Boulevard businesses overplayed their hand. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do you disagree with me? Do you agree with me? Um, are you more on the, on, the, on the business's side? Are you more on Disney's side? What are your thoughts on this whole parking you know, debacle you know, that's finally been solved? The, 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 the problem has finally been fixed, but what do you think about it? What do you think about the result? Thank you guys so much for all your support. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, I do content on Disney all the time. And as always, have a wonderful day.